This is the world's smelliest fish. Keep it away from And we're gonna see if we can catch a fish on it. Fish eat all types of bait, and sometimes extra smell and oil can actually attract more fish. We searched the internet and got our hands on some of this some straming. Some so straming. Some strami. It is known for having the worst smell on the planet. Even worse than your breath. This is a Swedish fermented herring. Let's see if we can catch on it. So you opening it, yeah? No, go on. You're you're in the you're in the hot seat. We need to get it open. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's see if it really is the smelliest bait in the world. I don't see what the big deal is, mate. I think it's just going to be like standard. <laughs> all over me. <coughs> Can't do it. <coughs> Mate, it's over me. It's on me. <coughs> oh it's on me. There's nothing you can do now. <coughs> <coughs> I can't. <laughs> come on, what you mean? Come on. Can't keep it away from <laughs> Every now and then I have a whiff. I forgot to put gloves on. I've done my bit of opening that can. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was nearly one. Nearly. Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. I looked at it. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> Your new jacket smells. I take it off. I've got to take it off. I don't see what the big deal is, mate. Sean's just gone to get a bait bucket so we can put the fillets in. I can't explain to you the smell of it. It is horrific. It is the worst smell I've ever smelled. I actually feel sorry for the pike. It went all over Sean's brand new jacket as well. I've seen videos of it spurting out online, but I couldn't tell him because I needed his actual reaction. He's absolutely screaming. <laughs> right, let's see what we're actually dealing with. They're little like fillets of herring gloves needed do you think the pike are gonna like this mate um <clears throat> well i didn't know what it was gonna be like but that looks like a decent bed dead bait to me once you get it in your mouth it's in there right it? we're using these kebab rigs Never used them before, but this is what they look like. And then you hook your hook on there. You slide the bait on, put your hook on there. So, oh, look at the. Oh. Can I do that? Go for it, mate. I don't care. They're all like the same size. <gasps> oh, God. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah? Yep. Oh my god, there's a fly dead in there. A fly has just flown into it. And died. And died. It's passed away, Aid. <laughs> Thank god we're outside, Sean. If we were inside now, game over. Yeah, let me go get the rods. I'll pass you the dead baits and, you know, you can yeah, quite rig them up. There's our little kebab deg bait rig. We've got it on a float. We've had to put a weight on because the kebab rigs are buoyant. Right, mate, we're fishing. Yep, dead baits are in. Stinkiest dead baits in the world. I think they're gonna go, you know. I don't know, man. I think they're gonna go up to it and be like, what the hell is this? I haven't got a lot of faith in the kebab rigs. Do you, have you guys ever used kebab rigs before? Put it in the comments, let us know. Yeah, maybe you rigged it up like a noob. Maybe I did, yeah. I'm yeah, sure someone in the know. comments will tell you how to do it. Yeah, I'm sure they will. 
Steve 101, carp fisherman. Well, that's it. Dead bait are in. Just got to sit and wait. I'm not happy. I can still smell. That stuff sprayed me. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Mate, that's a brand new coat. Do you know that? I'm sending that coat back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to send it back. What are you going to say to wrong with it? It outfit. And there's a funny smell <laughs> coming from somewhere. You need to put that as far away from us as possible. When you're downwind of it, it's no joke. And the tin opener as well. That's That's been soiled. <coughs> <coughs> now we just got to wait for a big 20 pounder to come and smash it. Left hand, right, left hand. Oh my God. Just getting you ready. Mate, I'll be amazed if they eat this crap. I think they will. This is why I hate dead baiting, because it's just a waiting game. When you lure fishing, you're there. You're in the moment. You're fishing. I wanted to talk to you about an idea. Right. We've had a few messages of people asking us if we can go on a session fishing and are we doing a meet-up or anything. But what I was thinking of doing is what if we did an event? Maybe a couple of other channels, you know, Ginger, Carl. Maybe we show a film that no one's seen with the three of us in it. Meet you and all that kind of stuff. What do you think? Would you come along? And what other things could we do? Let us know in the comments because if you're up for it, we'll do it. It'll need a lot of planning, but I'm sure Carl and Ginger would be up for it. So let me know. What's going on with this pipe fishing, Sean? I don't know, mate. I don't know. Maybe this is Strom's not having it. Mate, Maybe. I just went to check. There's dead flies in it. Why don't we try another bait? I know. We can't, that's cheating. I think we should put a mackerel on or a roach or something. It's really bright, mate. We've got to give ourselves the best chance. Change one of them, leave one with the Sustrans. He's ready with his gloves, look. I don't think it's too sunny at all, Sean. Nah, not at all. I can leave my eyes open and it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fine. <laughs> it still survived, didn't it? It did. To be honest, I don't blame the pie. I don't either. Imagine how bad the breath would be if we caught one. Be almost as bad as your oh, breath. Oh, mate, I can smell it now. I've just got over the gag reflex. Oh, God, it stinks. Here, here. What are you putting on, Sean? A roach. A roucho. Oh, fingers crossed. Come on. Love dead baiting. It's great. Really fun. Really fun way of fishing, especially when it's cold. This is time of year now, Sean. We need to start bringing tea with us, mate. Yeah, now it's getting cold, isn't it, mate? Nice, mate. Cheeky little roach, eh? Go for it, kid. Get him in. If the roach goes, we'll just pretend that it was the sastrami. Okay. Well, it's the first bit of fishing that we've done since the stag do. I feel like I've only just recovered from it, and it was... It took me a week to yeah. recover. We went to Butlins on a 90s weekend. Bewitched were the headliners. Bewitched didn't have the lead singer there because no. uh, she had to stay at home. Yeah. The first night we went to like a silent oh. disco. Oh, silent um, disco was awesome. Yeah, silent disco was really cool. First time doing that. Next day, we got up, had breakfast, and then we went to a gin distillery. Oh, we did, yeah, yeah. that was great. Yeah. Loved it. And then we had the big dress up night, didn't we? So Saturday night was fancy dress night. We went as wrestlers, classic wrestlers. I'd say we were WWF wrestlers. We were WWF. Yeah. We were Attitude Era, broken in half. My wife-to-be's dad was Ric Flair, <laughs> and he, he did it really well. <laughs> We had a guy turn up and made his own wrestler, the Jackal. <laughs> the Jackal, yeah, and he had his own catchphrases. Lock your doors, cause the Jackal's out tonight! So we had Stone Cold. We had Stone Cold Steve Austin. I was Kane. Classic Kane. And who was you? I was The Undertaker. Mate, I choke slammed so many people. An epic three days of drinking. I mean, I can't do epic. it anymore. No. Sean, you look like you're gonna Cristiano Ronaldo then, Rob. No, this is the stuff.
stance you've got to do when you're waiting for a bite. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Do you not know that? No. Uh, yeah, That's why I haven't had a bite. It's got, yeah, it's called a leg spread. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I was standing here like this, I wouldn't get a bite. No. you got to stand. And the further they are apart, the more chance of a bite. And now I know this video is about catching on the world's smelliest bait. We're going to be losing light in a couple of hours. So our options are we stay here staring at these floats. Yeah. Or we get the lure rods out and lure fish. We can lure fish here. How oh, yeah, let's do it. Get these things away. Let's go. What are we waiting for? What are we doing with the can of Sastramin? <laughs> is it going in your van till next time? Uh, no. The, the Sastrami pepper army is going in the bin, mate. Okay then, mate. Let's pack up. Rods, let's, get yeah, let's get the rods. Let's get the rods up. Oh, big dirty girl. Well, I couldn't find a bin. So I'm just going to leave it there. We'll find one on the way out. The braid fairies have been in the van. Let me do it, Pierre, let me do it. I don't even know. You just have to fish like that. You're such a waste, man. You've made it worse. Well, I, I didn't know, did I? Got it. You're such a cadet. You are such a cadet. I thought it for you, Sean. I'm not gonna lie, Sean. I feel a bit dirty commercial pike fishing. Big bad boy, I'm gonna go for the big Ooh. bad boy. I would much rather be lure fishing. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy now. I'm me, I'm happy as well. Even though we're blanking still. Yeah. I don't mind it though so nah. much. Lure is pure. We've got this margin over here to fish, mate. Yeah, no, that opposite marge looks delicious. And the other, up the other end. Whoa. You lost your centre of balance. No, nah, I'm good. What? I got excited because of the marge. Yeah, yeah. Let's go check it All out. Right, let's go. This looks juicy. Let's get it as close to this marge as possible. Not very close. Oh, that's all right. There's a lot of shrapnel in the water. The marge was not successful for me. It's just as hard as fishing the garden. This is, mate. It is, isn't it? I've been persisting in oh, the yeah. garden. I've been out. There was the water. Did you see the water in it? Went right down. Oh, man. My that God. Was I was worried. It was on the brink of having no water in it. They were doing work on a lock. Right. And my stretch took the brunt yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. No, no other stretch did. Yeah. Only mine. So I've got a guy from a fishery who's got health checks. He's like registered and all that. And he's gonna net his specy lake and give me the silvers from it. Oh yeah. Yeah. We've gotta keep trying, mate. The garden peg is special. Yeah. We just gotta keep persisting, stock it up. Yeah. Catch a pike from the peg. Yeah, I know. But it'll happen. It will. I haven't caught a fish from it yet, but there is fish there. Go check this video out when I filmed them underwater. You've gotta oh. hold it out the window. What if I just brought it in for a second? Oh. <laughs> 